I, I heard about this and I thought, how simplistic, how foolish can somebody be to put a guilt trip on Christians to think that they're supposed to sacrifice their children on the right. altar of being nice to the neighbor? You were talking about being salt, being salt and light, right? And as you know, that's one of the arguments that so many people use. I know recently there was there was someone on, um, I want to say Jen Wilkins, it's her name, something like that from Gospel Coalition. And she was talking about how people need to have their kids in the public school because they need to be, oh, they, they need this. to love their neighbors. I, right. I don't think she went down the salt and light road, but she said, we need to love our neighbors. And so people will pull that into the, the, you know, reasoning for not homeschooling. We have to have our kids in the public schools because they have to be salt and light and we need to love our neighbors. Speak on that for a minute. Why don't we put our kids in public school to be salt and light there? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, to, to your point about um, all the answers being in the Bible, I just want to make sure we emphasize that, you know, the number one thing you can do to save freedom, to save our country yeah. is being God's word, because without the truth, um, we lose. And and 9%, 9% of Christians are in God's word every day. So uh, that means 91% aren't. So we, we've got a lot of work to do there for all of us, all of us. I yeah. need to do more. I need to be there more. That's where the answers are. And, uh, and man, I could give you a million founding fathers quotes on that and why the Bible itself creates a good society. And when yes. we neglect the precepts of the Bible, we get crime and slavery and war and all those things. When we follow the precepts of the Bible, we get a whole lot less of, of all of those things. So I just wanted to, you, you yeah. hit the most important thing. If anybody takes away from this, if they want to have hope and enjoy freedom, be in God's word, everything Amen. else will, 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 will flow um, out of that. But yeah, I heard this and I, and I thought, you know, when did we decide that sacrificing our kids, sending a 10 year old into the lion's den to defend the culture or the society or to be the salt and light made any sense or an eight-year-old, frankly, even a 15-year-old these days yeah. with what's going on in our in our high schools in America. Um, of course, we're supposed to be salt and light and we're supposed to go out into the world and, and witness and share and be, uh, you know, in that uh, arena, be in, in the world, but out of the world, all that good stuff. That That's culturally and as a family, that does not mean sending off your eight or 10 year old and hoping that they can stand up against a 40 year old teacher that is trying to convert them to, to, to a, you know, a completely secular mindset and to evil ideas about sexuality and everything else. Um, I, I heard about this and I thought, how simplistic, how foolish can somebody be to put a guilt trip on Christians to think that they're supposed to sacrifice their children on the right. altar of being nice to the neighbor? Uh, I, I was greatly offended in that. And I, and I, I shouldn't say that because I didn't listen to the whole podcast. Um, but, but I have heard this for years and years and years. I can't pull, I'm not supposed to pull my kids out because then who else would evangelize, um, at the school? And I, and I, and I'm thinking, you know, we do a lot of self-defense training, as you know, and, and treat, teach people how to physically defend your family as well. And not only in this culture, but in any culture, you're going to have crime. And, and that's again, the, not being the simpleton, being the wise person. And, and one of our, one of our things that we teach is you don't, you don't, I'm not going to let my house burn down to save yours. In other words, right. I, I have, you put the mask on yourself first before you try to save the children. I hate even thinking about put the mask on. So right. You know, you know how much of an anti-masker I am, but the, the oxygen mask, let me be clear right. on the, uh, on the airplane, uh, before you go to the next person. And it's the same thing here. We're to raise our warriors, our family, mm -hmm. and, and some people watching their kid at 18 might be ready to go off to a, uh, you know, to a, to a, to a university and, and be ready to defend the faith and be, but honestly, these days, I mean, I, I got one kid that, that did secular university so far. And first he did Liberty, did his undergrad, uh, you know, Trey, he, he <laughs> did his undergrad at 17 years old. He had his bachelor's in, in uh, economics, but then he did a master's at Texas A&M and, and Trey's my, you know, firstborns are, are like this a lot. I mean, he was, you know, so I had no concern with any, nobody was going to influence him. He was going to influence them, but that's rare. That's really, really rare. And um, I, I think parents have to be ultra careful about those college decisions because yeah. that's, it, it, you know, this was a master's degree. It's very different. He's only there a couple hours and he was, you know, totally different situation. But most in, in, in an undergraduate degree, you're talking about sending them there for four or five years where it's not just the professors that are so usually arrogant woke. and woke and, and yeah. condescending and, and all that. It's, it's the atmosphere. It's all of those things. Yeah. And you're asking your kid to, to stand against that. Uh, I just, I just think that's, I think you got, that's a rare scenario where a kid is ready for that kind of thing. Um, yeah. and that's why I'm not a big fan of college anyway. There's only a few degrees that I think are worth going and <laughs> going and getting, but anyway, we literally all just say, had this conversation with Israel Wayne you, earlier today, and he said the exact same oh, thing. So if you I guys are Israel, seeing a pattern that, that here, <laughs> we're usually on the same page. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. 
For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 